Okay, what I want to show here quickly is how to make some text fall and bounce realistically and how to set up a camera to capture that and a little bit with materials. So, see if I can squeeze this all into 10 minutes. I'm going to start with a box. And uh, I'm going to type in M for material, making myself a quick material name. Click on diffuse, the little button, button to the right, click that. And I'm going to say I want a checker material. I'll double click that. There's my checker material. Let's slide up. See the colors? I'm going to click on black. And I'm going to say I really want that to be kind of a greenish color. Say OK to that. I'm going to click on the white. I'm going to say I really want that to be kind of a light blue. OK. And then we'll uh, go ahead and apply those to the selected object. Got two big um, squares there. I'm going to go to modify. Mater modifier list and pick on UVW map and I'm going to leave it as a planar map but I'm going to change the tiling to let's say 10 by 10 in U and V and now I've got something for this text to bounce on so now I'm going to make the text I'll start with create 2D shapes text and we'll just make some text right here that says max text by default I'm going to make it say decognition and let's say OK to that. I'm just going to change the size on that so it's smaller. And I'm going to go right up to my modify panel, click the little down arrow and find extrude. And I'll just extrude this out a little bit and I can't really see it. There we go. I want that a little bit thicker. And I want a different uh, font. So I'll pick uh, text again. And instead of using Arial, I'm going to pick Arial Bold. Okay. So we got some text. Let's put some uh, material in this text. So I'll just go to Modify. And let's actually let's do it on the extrusion. Click the Modifier list. Come all the way down. UVW map. We'll put a box map on there now. Go to M for material. Make another quick material and go to um, diffuse. No, let's go over here to this blue ball and just grab a pre-made material. Click on material library and I want something that's uh, like stone. That would be good. Concrete brown. Concrete gray. That looks good. Uh, but I want something pretty light. Let's do this one. Double click it, populates. I click this little button to apply the to the material. I click on this button to make the material visible in the viewport. Close, close. And now we got something. Now we're ready to drop this thing on the surface and try to make it bounce. So I'll start in the uh, front view and maximize it. Actually, I should probably start a little higher up. And let's just make it centered somewhat. And I'll go to Auto Key, it's turned on. I'll go down to, let's say, frame 25. And just drop it all the way down right onto that surface. And then frame, let's say, 35. I'm going to bring that back up. And I'm just guessing at these. And then maybe another seven frames or so, I'll bring it back down. And then one more little hop, uh, just a couple frames this time and back down. And now let's just see what it does. We'll just hit play. Okay, just needs a little bit of acceleration when it drops and it needs to slow down as it comes up to give us the effects of gravity. So go to Curve Editor and we're right clicking, we're going to Curve Editor and just open that up. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this first curve up here at the top where it's dropping. And I'm going to make it gradually speed up. So imagine, this is called easing in. I call it like easing into full speed. If you're on a roller coaster, you're speeding up, speeding up. Now you're really accelerating, right? And you're going to hit with full acceleration. So why don't we just zoom in and make sure I'm grabbing the right uh, keyframe. Looks like I am. What I'm going to do here is grab this tangency handle and hold down my shift key and just end up, whoops, I'm grabbing the wrong thing, aren't I? Let's undo that. 
Let's make sure we're grabbing the right point. Okay, I want this to be nice and almost straight up and down, We're close to it. And on this one, I'm going to do the same thing, nearly straight up and down or close to it. So what we've got is roller coaster, you want to use that analogy, you're speeding up, speeding up, boom, and you hit and it's immediate stop, and now you're slowly, oh, you're quickly coming up, but you're going to slow down at the top. So we want those tangency handles again. At least that's the way I like to think of it. And then down here, let's make sure we get the right frame. And uh, I'll just use my shift key again and bring this up. And this up. And on this one, let's make it nice and smooth. So it hits the top and slowly slows down. And I see a little bit of problem here. Um, you can see a little bit more frames on this side than when it falls on both of those, and I want those to be a little bit more even. So I'll say close this for now, and we'll just we'll just preview it. Not bad, but I can see from here to here we've got uh, we don't have an equal number of frames. So I just slid that over, and the way you slide these over is you just press, drag, release. Why don't I do it on this last one too? Let's just see how it looks now. That's almost too fast. On the uh, one, one, two. Okay, let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's working fine. Now I just want to put a camera on the thing. So we'll grab a camera real quick. Create camera, target camera, T for top view, and press, drag, release. And let's just grab that target and go to our front view and move that target up to where it would normally be. Let's set the camera up here somewhere and then turn on auto key. And as this thing falls, let's fall with it. So I want this to come down. And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but as that thing comes up, I'm going to try just following it a little bit. And when it comes down, we'll bring it down. And I'm just going to leave it down. So let's see what that looks like from the camera's perspective. See for camera. Looks like we're not getting the whole thing in the scene. Let's go to our top view and slide this camera over a little bit. And let's just turn off auto key and move this camera back. So we're not keyframing the movement. Let's see what I can see from the camera's viewpoint again. Okay, let's see what that looks like shaded. Go to smooth plus highlights and play. Yeah, it's not bad. It'll, at least it'll give you some ideas of some things to play with.